Yeah, there's nothing stopping you other than the fact that you guys are just into destroying each other. No, now it's gonna get quiet. I see all that sneaky shit you do. Ladies, if you could just support the WNBA the way you support a fat chick that's proud of her body and is no longer a threat to you, you know? That league would be doing better numbers than the NBA. Oh my God. That's one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Oh my God, you're a goddess. You're gorgeous. You look great in that bikini. I would kill myself if I looked like that. Keep eating, keep eating. Lose a toe, you fat bitch. It's just... Warriors star Draymond Green says, NBA players support the WNBA more than we probably support our own league. What's good, everybody? This your boy, JTL, a.k.a. Opposite from the Norm 18. Before I get started, make sure y'all subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, this is brought to you by Insider.com. And it says, NBA players are the number one allies to the WNBA and its athletes. According to one of the brightest stars to ever step foot on a women's basketball court. Even still, she said they can do more to help support the league. WNBA legend Lisa Leslie sat down with NBA stars LeBron James, Draymond Green, and PJ Tucker for a season five episode of Uninterrupted's The Shop that debuts Friday. And a sneak peek offered exclusively to Insider, the two-time WNBA champion and three-time league MVP discussed the WNBA pay gap and how NBA players can continue to support their counterparts in the women's league. From a salary standpoint, it'll be great for the women to be able to make more money, Lisa said. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of hard work. I think I saw something that said one player that makes maybe $12 million on an NBA team can cover the whole NBA's salary. And so that's kind of crazy. Again, we are 26 years young, so it's not like we are comparing ourselves to the NBA. But I do feel like the pay gap would be something that we could just take a donation around the NBA. Maybe the Los Angeles Sparks legend added. Tommy and passing around a hat for contributions. Maybe one yacht one night y'all don't go to the casinos. But Green, a Golden State Warriors superstar who has previously got himself into hot water for commenting on women's players complaining about pay discrepancies, took issue with Lisa's characterization of NBA's players' relationship with the WNBA. Draymond says, it pisses me off because I don't think there's anyone in America that supports the WNBA more than the NBA players, Green said, to which Leslie responded 100%. The NBA players support the WNBA players more than we probably support the effing NBA, he added, and it bothers me. Leslie then explained that she believes the WNBA should further embrace its connection with NBA players. She said that she used her platform as one of the WNBA's top 25 players of all time and honor the first woman to dunk in a WNBA game earned in 2021 to impress upon others in the league that they should direct more focus towards NBA players. When LeBron wrote that orange hoodie, <laughs> I told him that hoodie was just sitting there with the logo on it, Leslie said as Green nodded along. When he wrote about that hoodie, it went viral. I explained to them that our number one allies that have supported us from day one are the NBA players. I said, they tweet, they follow us, they come to our games. We don't highlight them. And there's LeBron with the WNBA logo on his hoodie. Now, let's talk about this. Lisa Leslie is definitely, you know, one of the greats. She has got support from men as certain women don't want to admit. I remember when they first came out, she was doing a thing. She was on the Martin Lawrence show. She was in movies. Like, she got support. They all get support, but now it seems like they try to push it away like they don't need them, but then tell them they need them. That's where it doesn't make sense. How many times are we going to put this on the men? The problem is not the men because the W, I'm sorry, the NBA gives at least, at least $12 million per season. So when you add up what they give, so it's almost a quarter 
of what keeps the WNBA going. Matter of fact, men watch the WNBA more so than women do. They show up to the games more so than women do. So when are we going to start calling out the women for not supporting the WNBA? Why? Because majority of women are heterosexual, so they want to go where the men are, especially men that make all this money. You're going to see superstars out there. You're going to see men of means out there. So a lot of women want to go where the men at to try to attract them a guy or go with their guy or husband or something like that. That's fine. I understand it. That's respectful. But at the same time, to keep calling out the men when the men are already carrying the WNBA on their back is BS. And to be honest, we got to start calling out as well. Stop putting it on the men's shoulders when you know it is the women who don't support. What I mean, what do you expect for men to buy women's jerseys, to buy their shoes? That's for the women. So if women are not supporting each other, that needs to be called out. The NBA commissioner also spoke about that a little bit. We need to get more women, more young women, and, you know, young girls to support the WNBA. That's where their target audience needs to be. But women don't want to call each other out on that. They want to call out the man because it's more easier to be a misandrist than it is to so-called end up being a misogynist. You know, they would make it that or sexist or whatever you want to call it. But until the women decide to help each other out, like they say they do, I mean, they support Lizzo more than they support the WNBA. Matter of fact, number show, around 3,600, 3,300 people show up and attend the WNBA games. It's more, more, it's more men there actually supporting. More men watch it on TV. So the problem is not that the men are not supporting, it's the fact that women are not supporting. Because if more men support it, are you going to tell me that the women are going to come around because the men are supporting it? No, it would make more sense for more women to show up. Then maybe you have more men show up. But until we actually speak about that, that's going to be the problem. It's not the pay gap. It's the <laughs> support gap that women don't do for each other. Let's just keep it real. This is your boy JTL, a.k.a. Opposite from the Norm. Make sure y'all subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll be back. Chip!